Hey, Jimmy, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Can you describe what you are seeing? I see a person with graying hair and a beard wearing headphones with a microphone. They are wearing a blue collared shirt. The background appears to be a brown curtain. Is there anything else you'd like me to describe? The collar is white. It's not blue, right? Thank you for the correction. I see that the collar is white. Apologies for the error. Okay. Do you see another mic in the image? Yes, I can see a second microphone in the image. Oh, what is that mic? Any, uh, any identification of what is this brand uh, about? Based on the visual, that microphone appears to be a blue Yeti. Blue snowball. Thank you for clarifying. I see that it is a blue snowball microphone. Okay, what is that headset I'm wearing? Any idea what is this brand? The headset appears to be a Jabra headset. Do you see the screen that I'm sharing? Yes, I can see the screen you are sharing. It looks like you are using DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, tell me what is the version of this software? From what I see, the software version on the bottom left corner of the screen says DaVinci Resolve 18. Is that correct? No, it's 19. 1, 9. Thank you for the correction. So, it's DaVinci Resolve 19. Okay. So, uh, what else you see on the timeline? Okay. On the timeline, I see three video tracks labeled V1, V2, and V3. Okay. Now, help me with the color grading. Uh, what should I... What is the... I want it to be a kind of a orange and, orange and teal effect. How do I do it? For an orange and teal effect, you can start by adjusting the color wheels, pushing the shadows towards a teal or blue hue, and the highlights towards orange. Based uh, on the assets you've loaded... Can you help me with the uh, camera, camera shake, shake effect? effect? Yes, I can. To add a camera shake effect, you can search for the shake effect in the effects library. 